welcome back to our youtube channel again so guys in this video we will see why subrar outback eyesight disable and how do i turn my subrar eyesight back on so guys if you facing these issues so guys you are not alone many have users having these issue and in this video we will find some relevant way to resolve this issue okay first of all we try to determine why the eyesight system turn off for checking this potential cause first of all you can check there is no mechanical failure for checking the mechanical failure you can inspect your eyesight camera and sensor and look at on the top of your windshield for any visible damage or obstruction okay then you can look for the error message or warning lights on the dashboard that may indicate a problem with the eyesight system after that check the weather condition note the current weather condition is still raining heavy snow foggy uh, or is there glare of the sun so inclement the weather can temporarily disable your eyesight system as a safety precautions you also check the obstructed camera if there are any object or the device mounted on the windshield that should be interfering with your eyesight so guys you can search review mirror attachment tool tax or tint you can remove it okay and make sure your camera lens are clean and unobstructed after that you can try and reset your eyesight system and turn it on in your subred outback park your subred outback on the leaf surface and apply the park parking brake then turn on the engine and remove the key from the ignition and open the hood and locate the navigate battery terminal and using the wrench and disconnect the negative battery cable from the terminal okay so guys you can wait for the 5 second to allow the system for the full reset and reconnect your negative battery terminal to cable and tight it securely and close your hood and start the engine again and check if the eyesight system has been reactivated and its function properly or not then you can turn your eyesight system back on and start your subdur engine and ensure it is running and put the car in the shift parking mode on the left side of the steering wheel you can locate the controller and use the controller button to navigate through the lcd display until you see the pull and hold eyesight option then you can switch to open the menu and you can use the pull and hold and switch to access the setting menu and scroll up and down using the controller button until you see the eyesight switch after that you can hold your eyesight switch and choose your preference warning volume high medium and low and pull and hold your eyesight switch again to set your desired eyesight at alert volume then guys thank you and have a nice day and subscribe our youtube channel for the further information maybe this video is very helpful for you